how can we sort a repeating group by a field's field? This is not very easy in Babel. So what I mean by this is imagine we have a list of countries and instead of sorting them by its name, we wanted to sort them by the capital name or by the capital population. But if we look at country, the fields that we have are the name and then the capital, the city. This is the type of this element. Can we access capital to sort countries using the capital fields? No, we can't with the normal repeating group. If you look at it and you do a search for countries and then decide what you want to sort it by, you see that you can sort it by name, which is what we're currently doing, but you cannot access capital here. You cannot sort it by capital name or capital population. So this can be a bit tricky. There are actually two ways you can achieve this. You can use a plugin or you can add a field to the database. I'm first going to explain the plugin and then I, uh, at the end, I will also talk about this other simple method of structuring your database to achieve this behavior. So first, let's see that it works. If I click sort by capital name, you see how this list is sorted again and London is the first one. Washington DC is the last one because this is in alphabetical order. What we have done is access the city, take the name and sort countries based on the capital name, which is what we can't do natively using Bubble. So the first thing that you need to do is download this plugin called List Shifter Karmaware. This is done by Keith, one of the best contributors to the Bubble forum. He has helped me learn a lot with his responses, although he might not know. And I really recommend you check out all his plugins. And if you want to support him, you have here a link to do so. Now, the first thing that you need to do after installing the plugin is taking this list shifter KW element, dragging it into a page. Here you will be able to access basically all the fields in your database. So this is what it's going to allow you kind of override the bubble limitations. In the list shifter, the first thing that you need to say is what is the data type of the list and its countries. This is what we're going to be sorting. And the list to shift is going to be what we would put in the repeating group. So search for countries. Again, let's remember that here we cannot sort by capital something, which is precisely what we're trying to solve. I'm going to check the default behavior, which is the one that we had sorting by the country name. And now this is where the interesting thing happens. We're going to name this element and say this is countries. I also have this one. I'm going to delete it so that we're not confused because this is what I have been using until now. Now I'm going to be using this one to show you how, how it works. You don't need to worry about the rest of the stuff. You can go check this plugin. There are a lot of things that you can do with lists, but today we're only going to be seeing this functionality. We're going to have a filtered list that we are going to define in the workflows. So the first thing we're going to do is sort by capital name. And when we click the button sort by capital name, we want to be looking for the action sort list shifter kw something. In our case, we only have this element, so it's already selected. The type of sort by list is going to depend. We're sorting by capital name, so it's going to be a text because the capital name is a text. And then we are going to be looking for the list shifter. Oh, where was it? It was here. And the original list capital. Now we can access it. This is the, the good thing. And we're going to be choosing the name. So what we have done is taken the list that is inside the element list shifter, the search that we have done, which is what we normally have in the repeating group. And we are accessing that list and actually taking the capital and the name. This is going to be what we call shifted list. We will be using it right now. If we go to our repeating group, we need to define the data source. And here we can look for the list shifter. And instead of selecting the original list like we did before, we are going to be selecting the shifted list. And now it should work perfectly because the repeating group is going to be looking for a list that is shifted. And this is the original list after initiating the workflow. If we don't initiate the workflow, the shifted list is just going to be like the original list, which is why I defined the first condition of sorting by the country name. Let's see if it works. 
If I click sort by capital name, it's not working. Let's check very quickly what's going on. Okay, so we are we have selected to sort as number, but it's text what we need to do because we are going to be sorting by the capital name. So let's check again. And now it's working perfectly. Let's set up very quickly the capital population. That way we will review what we have done. We are just going to be defining a workload that changes the shifted list that the repeating group is getting as a data source. So we're going to use the sort list action type of sort by list. In this case, it's going to be number because the population is a number. And we are going to be using list shifter original list capital population. We're going to be sorting as a number and this should work perfectly well. So we are going to be choosing the standing yes. And basically what this is going to do is the capital that has the highest population will appear at the top and then it will all go down from there. So if I click sort by capital population, we see there has been a slight change. And this is because Tokyo has actually the highest population. Moscow, the, the next one, then London, then Madrid, and then Washington. So we're accessing different fields, even though the original repeating group was looking for countries. And if we look at the data type country, we cannot see the population or the, or the name. We can only see the capital field that is a city type. Now, something important, and with this, we will finish this part, is that when we click the country name, I haven't defined a workflow to actually sort the list. What I'm doing is resetting the list shifter. I could use another sort workflow and choose to sort with the country name. That would be perfectly okay. But since I have defined the list shifter to search for countries and order them this way, this is the default behavior. And if I reset the list shifter, it works perfectly well. If I didn't have this, I would need to define a workflow just like I did with the other buttons. So again, thank you very much, Keith, for developing this amazing plugin. And now I'm going to be explaining the kind of easier way to do it if you don't want to use plugins, which is basically when you are defining a country, apart from including the capital city type, use another data field that is the capital name. Let's do the test. What I mean is you can create a field here that is capital name and another field that is capital population. By having these two fields now in your repeating group, you could sort by capital name or capital population. But what this means is that obviously you will need to make sure that when you are creating the countries or assigning the capitals to countries, you need to fill these other two fields, which are also going to be present in the city. So, of course, it's kind of redundant, but it actually doesn't matter in terms of performance. I mean, you're not going to suffer because text or number are very lightweight fields and it's a simpler way to, to have them and to sort your repeating groups. So this is the other option if you don't want to use plugins. I hope it's helpful. I've read that a lot of people have this problem in the forum. It took me a while to figure out the best ways to do it. If you want more help with your bubble app, you can reach me at Twitter at Pablo Heredia 24 and send me a DM. I have them open. You can also purchase our video course in gamro.com l bubble crash course. I will leave the link in the description as well. The course covers pretty much everything from getting started to database, design, responsiveness, actions, workflows, and more complex things like loops, packet workflows, privacy rules, option sets. There is a video for every section. I hope this was helpful and happy learning.